In this video, we're going to talk about subtracting mixed numbers. So let's start with this example. 7 and 5 eighths minus 4 and 3 eighths. So how can we subtract these two mixed numbers? It's important to understand that we can expand it like this. 7 and 5 eighths, it's 7 plus 5 over 8. And 4 and 3 eighths, it's 4 plus 3 over 8. Now, we need to distribute the negative sign to the 4 and the 3 over 8. So what we have is 7 plus 5 over 8 minus 4 minus 3 over 8. Now, 7 minus 4 is 3. And 5 over 8 minus 3 over 8 is 2 over 8. 2 over 8 can be reduced to 1 over 4. So the final answer is 3 and 1 fourth. Let's try another example. So let's say if we have 8 and 7 ninths minus 4 and 2 over 9. Go ahead and subtract these two mixed numbers. So this is 8 plus 7 over 9 minus 4 plus 2 over 9. So if we distribute the negative sign, we're going to have negative 4 and negative 2 over 9. So 8 minus 4, that's equal to 4. 7 over 9 minus 2 over 9 is 5 over 9. So the final answer is 4 and 5 ninths. And that's it. For the sake of practice, go ahead and try these three problems. 8 and 4 over 5 minus 4 and 1 over 5. And for the second one, it's going to be 9 and 8 over 11 minus 3 and 5 over 11. And for the last one, 7 and 8 over 9 minus 2 and 5 over 9. So first, we can subtract the whole numbers, 8 minus 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. And then we can subtract 4 over 5 minus 1 over 5. And that's going to give us 3 over 5. And so that's it for the first example. Now for the second example, it's going to be 9 minus 3, which will give us 6. And then 8 over 11 minus 5 over 11 is 3 over 11. And so that's it for that problem. For the last one, we have 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. And then 8 over 9 minus 5 over 9, which is 3 over 9. Now, we can reduce 3 over 9. If you divide 3 and 9 by 3, you're going to get 1 over 3. And so that's it. Now, let's try a similar but slightly different problem. Let's subtract these two mixed numbers. Now, if we use the same method as we did for the last three problems, subtracting 2 over 7 by 5 over 7 is going to give us a negative result. And so we're going to have to do something different in this problem. Let's begin by expanding everything. So this is 6 plus 2 over 7 and then minus 3 plus 5 over 7. Now what we're going to do is we're going to borrow a 1 from 6. So I'm going to rewrite 6 as 5 plus 1. And then I'm going to distribute the negative sign. So I'm going to have minus 3 minus 5 over 7. At this point, I can go ahead and combine these two. 5 minus 3. So 5 minus 3 is 2. Now the 1, I'm going to change that into 7 over 7. Because 7 divided by 7 is 1. And so this is what I now have. So let's go ahead and combine these two fractions. 7 over 7 plus 2 over 7 is 9 over 7. And now, I can combine these two fractions. 
9 over 7 minus 4, I mean, let me say that again, 9 over 7 minus 5 over 7 is 4 over 7. And so we have 2 plus 4 over 7, which is 2 and 4 sevenths. And so this is the final answer for that problem. Now let's work on this problem. 7 and 3 over 11 minus 2 and 8 over 11. It's very similar to the last problem. Go ahead and try it. So let's expand everything. This is going to be 7 plus 3 over 11 minus 2 plus 8 over 11. Now, let's take a 1 from 7. So we're going to replace 7 with 6 plus 1. And just like before, we're going to distribute the negative sign. And so we're going to have negative 2 minus 8 over 11. So let's go ahead and combine 6 and negative 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. And now let's change the 1 to 11 over 11. Now let's combine 11 over 11 plus 3 over 11. And so that's going to give us 14 over 11. So now we can combine 14 over 11 minus 8 over 11, and that's 6 over 11. So our final answer is 4 and 6 over 11. So what if we have two mixed numbers with different denominators? What do we need to do? Well, first, let's expand everything. So we have 5 plus 3 over 4 minus 2 plus 1 over 8. What we need to do is get common denominators. But let's begin by distributing the negative sign. So this is 5 plus 3 over 4 minus 2 minus 1 over 8. So let's go ahead and combine 5 and negative 2. So that's going to be 3. Now, we need to change this 4 into an 8. So I'm going to multiply 3 over 4 by 2 over 2 because 4 times 2 is 8. So I'm going to have 3 plus 6 over 8 minus 1 over 8. So now I can combine these two fractions. 6 over 8 minus 1 over 8, that's 5 over 8. So the final answer is 3 and 5 eighths. Let's work on a similar example. Let's say we have 7 and 5 ninths minus 4 and 1 over 10. Go ahead and try this problem. So we know this is going to be 7 plus 5 over 9 minus 4 minus 1 over 10 if you just jump ahead and distribute the negative sign to both the 4 and the 1 over 10. So let's combine 7 and negative 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. Now we need to get common denominators between these two fractions. 9 times 10 is 90, so 90 is going to be the least common multiple of 9 and 10. So I'm going to multiply 5 over 9 by 10 over 10, and I'm going to multiply negative 1 over 10 by 9 over 9. 5 times 10 is 50. 9 times 10 is 90. 9 times 1 is 9. And so now we need to combine these two fractions. So 50 minus 9 is 41. So I'm going to have 3 plus 41 over 90, which means the final answer is 3, 41 over 90. Now let's work on one more example. 6 and 1 third minus 3 and 4 over 5. Go ahead and try that. So we're going to write this as 6 plus 1 over 3 minus 3 minus 4 over 5. Now let's subtract 6 and 3. So 6 minus 3, that's equal to 3. And now we need to get common denominators between these two fractions. So 3 times 5 is 15. Therefore, I'm going to multiply 
1 third by 5 over 5 and negative 4 fifths by 3 over 3. So I'm going to get 5 over 15 and 4 times 3 is 12 so that's going to be 12 over 15. Now 5 over 15 minus 12 over 15 will give me a negative result. So I need to borrow a 1 from 3. So I'm going to write 3 as 2 plus 1. And then I'm going to replace the 1 with 15 over 15. So now I can add these two fractions. 15 plus 5 is 20. And then I can subtract these two fractions. 20 minus 12 is 8. So my final answer is going to be 2 and 8 over 15. And so that's it. Now you know how to subtract mixed numbers. Thanks for watching. By the way, if you want more videos on mixed numbers and fractions, feel free to take a look at the description section of this video.